welcome to this channel IBMI classes today we are going to discuss compile time array again in our previous video we have discussed the compile time array but we didn't mention about this keyword PERCD that I have written here so let's discuss what this keyword is all about and what uh, role it plays in this compile time array so in oh, let's start in our uh, previous video, we show you dim 10 and ct data with compile time array. So here we have written PERCD2. What does it mean actually? So this is an array, compile time array of 10 characters length. And the size of this array is 10. So dim keyword tells about the size of this array. Then ct data tells that this is a compile time array. And this PERCD2 tells that two reco records hold it in one row means that in compile time data what we do we actually write the elements here we write the data in those elements here which get which will get preloaded after the execution before the calling of this program after the compilation or can we sorry after the compilation or pre uh, execution of this program so if the PERCD would be 1 then we have to write it like Amit, Abhay, Ajay, Amar, Anuj and from below this line we need to write these as well but we have included these here just after this so we can see that 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from 11 position we have written this because this array is of length 10 as we can see from the definition. So first 10 position uh, will be holded by this one and then again same. So one row, two records are here. So in the same manner we have taken the dim size as 10, not 5. Here we can see that these are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 but we are not counting this as 5 5 elements are here but in one row there are 2 elements actually so 2, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 so that's why we have taken 10 here so what is the reason behind this so if we are taking 5 uh, elements here and PER as PER, PER CD as 2 we need to take the dim size as double of this means 5 into 2 that is 10 so now uh, let's come to the logic here we have taken an index and then an add array data here so what it is doing it is looping around uh, this uh, 10 times and we are showing the data only from the compile time array so let's compile this program now debug this program Time now add the breakpoint and call this program. So as we can see that uh, compile time array is just loaded after the compilation of this program. So the execution before execution of this, we can see the value here. Compile time array. We can see that eval compile time array. So we can see that at those ten positions. There it is loaded with Amit Singh first second and then Abhay Kapoor third fourth Ajay Verma fifth sixth Amar Lal seventh tenth and Anuj Singhania as ninth tenth as below Amit Singh first second third fourth so two record per row actually so let's come here so 
it will display all those data inside the array elements till the 10 times so we can see that this programs get program get executed successfully now we can also see the result from job log so here it is so this is the basic uh, example of a compile time array which is using this keyword P E R S E D. so if we are not using this keyword here So in case we are not writing this here, so it will automatically uh, take it as one. So and work as it is. So this is the base uh, main idea of uh, why we using P R S C D in the example here. So suppose if we remove this. Sorry. From here and try to compile this program, so it will get compiled. one so we are actually debugging this program so it will not take care of those extra uh, data which is actually at second position so sorry it's not compiled with debug boost as source So we can see that what actually is loaded inside this array because it's loaded in the compile after compilation. So yes, we are right that we can only see that these five elements get loaded. One till five. Amit, Abhay, Ajay, Amar, Anuj. So since we have not declared uh, defined P R C D here, so it um, by default takes it as one. Or if we have written this like P R C D as one, then it loads the same value here as loaded right now. So it doesn't loaded these values in the array because we have not we have not taken P R C D as two. So this is uh, all about. For today, thank you for watching my video.